You've clicked on eight incredibly simple kitchen hacks, a finely curated list of culinary exploits. So slap on your chef hat and buckle your apron, because there aren't enough cooks in this kitchen. Are you one of those fine, upstanding individuals who struggles with chopsticks? No worries. Save yourself a little embarrassment by using the coil of a clothespin to create foolproof chopsticks. Simply remove the wood from the spring of the clothespin, taking note of the deepened notches. Use a knife to create your own grooves near the thicker end of one side of each stick. With the notch side of each stick facing outwards, slide each stick through the spring coil until it's aligned and secured. The result is a pair of spring-loaded chopsticks that are easy to use and require no lifelong skill to pick up food with. Legend has it that eating bananas may cause you to put off a scent that attracts mosquitoes. Now is that true? We don't know. But we will tell you this, banana peels are a great homemade remedy for itchy skin. They can relieve itching from bug bites, poison ivy, and a lot more. Some say that the chemical makeup of the skin of a banana could be soothing and draw fluid out from a bite and promote healing. When you're done, we advise you to always compost your unused food waste as it makes for a great organic soil to grow your future plants. Make a spill-proof snack container for mason jars using recycled material. Rinse out a throwaway container that comes with a pour spout. Then trace the lid of a mason jar and cut it to size. You may have to trim a little extra in order to fit the lid securely. Your new snack shaker is perfect for your pantry, your children, or when you're on the go. Not to mention, it's also great for drinks. Have you ever reached for your brown sugar only to discover that your airtight container wasn't enough to prevent it from hardening? Here's a simple solution. Transfer the brown sugar into a microwave-safe container and nuke it for 20 to 30 seconds directly in the microwave. Now if it's as hard as a brick, go ahead and cover it with a moist paper towel first. The sugar should now be softer and easier to break up. It's ready to be used, stored in the freezer, or transferred back into the airtight container. Just adding a handful of marshmallows on top can also help put moisture back in, which will solve all of your clumpy brown sugar woes. If your waffle maker is only making waffles, then the only waffle is you. Preheat a waffle iron to medium-high heat. Coat with cooking oil or butter. Then shred potatoes and season them to taste. Now evenly spread the mixture directly onto the waffle iron. Close it nice and gently and cook until they're golden brown. That's probably about four to five minutes. Thanks to your handy waffle iron, your hash browns will come out soft on the inside and crispy on the outside. If you find yourself in a pinch without a funnel, snip off one corner of an ordinary envelope, and then clip off the point to turn it into a disposable funnel. If the hole isn't big enough, simply snip a little more off the end until it works for you. There are countless ways to cut and peel an onion utilizing kitchen utensils and gadgets but there's really only one that you need to know. Start by spritzing vinegar on your cutting board to interrupt the chemical reaction that causes that painful burn in your eyes. Cut off the stem and the root of the onion. Cut a thin line down the side and peel away the skin and outer layer. Now cut the onion in half, following the natural vertical lines from the top to the base. Now place the cut side down on the cutting board. Instead of cutting all the way through, this time cut through three-fourths of the onion leaving the root end of the onion intact. This will keep the onion together as you space out your cuts, depending on whether you want it chopped, diced, minced, or whatever. Then turn the onion sideways and cut perpendicular to the slices you just made. Now, if you still find yourself with tears, just keep in mind that they're tears of joy. Egg cartons have a million uses, but here's a great one for game night. Simply cut small slits into the bottom of the egg pocket and slide cards into each slot. If you want to plan ahead for more cards, you can also cut slits in between each egg pocket as well. Now you can keep your hands free and your cards private. If Uno is your game, maybe hiding the last handful in your hands is still the best option. If you don't like that idea, there's always a chip clip. I want to invite you all to join our notification squad. If you click the little gear button next to the subscribe button, it'll add you in and let you know whenever one of our videos goes live. A huge thank you from all of us here at Household Hackers Kitchen Hacking Emporium. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.